If you're looking for a way to get around your city or your suburb and have a lot of fun doing it, this is the Gen Z 2.0 electric scooter by Mahindra. This is really my first time on the thing this morning and uh, it's just really simple to get a handle on. It's got a twist throttle just like a motorcycle, but being it's electric power, the acceleration rolls on really smoothly. There's no gear changes, no torque bumps. Very easy to modulate and control. Russell Faulkner is the operations manager for Gen Z. This is how we turn on our bike here. You turn on the power button, hit the start button, hold it for three seconds, enter your security code, shows you your battery charge, how many miles you have left in it, LED lights on the front of the bike and the back of the bike, front light on it that stays on at all times, reverse button on here that'll help you back up. <laughs> Horn. The only fluid on the bike is in the disc brakes. There's a kickstand down here. The front tires are 16 inch, back tire 12 inch. Gives you more stability at slow speeds, makes the bike want to stand up straight. Aluminum frame, all one piece welded, powder coated. Cargo bay in the back, dry box under the seat here. The motor is an integrated hub motor. No chains, no belts. It's all integrated in in one hub. Ride quality is really nice and comfortable too. That's because we got this full suspension and these pretty nice sized tires on this thing. Starting from a stop, I can pretty quickly put my feet on this central platform here. I have three drive modes which I can choose from the touch panel here. There's a safe mode, a econ, and sport. Safe mode is just for first time riders, really easy to get started, very little throttle required. Sport mode gives you full torque, and that's, you know, once you're more experienced, you can ride it like that. The Gen Z 2.0 electric scooter goes on sale later this year. For a price of $3,000, that's actually really low. I'm Wayne Cunningham for CNET.